Devontae Freeman agrees to a new deal with the Atlanta Falcons, making him the highest paid running back in the NFL pending whatever Le'Veon Bell's situation is sure. there in Pittsburgh. But he's going to make about $41 million, according to reports, about $8 million per year. Yep. Is this the right move for the Atlanta Falcons to pay Freeman? Definitely. And I'm looking at the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons, this entire season is all about confidence, projecting it. It's almost like the building's on fire and someone's standing out front like, hey, guys, nothing to see here. Everything's good. Because the way they lost that Super Bowl last year, I would be shocked if this locker room isn't the most fragile of any in the NFL. We saw what happened to the Seahawks just a couple of years ago. You lose the Super Bowl in such a devastating way like they did. It's so easy to start pointing fingers. Now, I'm wondering how many they're pointing at Kyle Shanahan because he's out the door to San Francisco, and that might be easy to say. It was his fault. He had a bad second-half game plan, et cetera. But you have to do everything you can to keep the homeostasis of your locker room where it is because I feel like no matter how many leaders you have in that locker room, how many leaders does Seattle have, it's very fragile at this moment. I feel like it could fall off the cliff at any time. And so if signing Freeman, signing anyone is going to help sort of maintain the it's all good. We're, we're good. We're just uh, trying to reload for another Super Bowl run. If that does anything to help the, in that endeavor, you got to sign him. He's a heck of a player. I mean, he's second in he's the league in yards per scrimmage from scrimmage over the last two years behind only Julio Jones, his teammate there. And. Here's the thing with these NFL contracts. I never make anything about the guy being the highest paid at his position because every new contract winds up being the highest paid at that position, right. you know, regardless. So some people are always taken aback. Well, this guy doesn't deserve to be. That's just the way the market plays out. The thing that always stands out to me the most is how little NFL players are paid compared to their counterparts in other sports. I believe this contract would make Freeman the 160th highest paid player in Major League Baseball and the 132nd highest paid player in the NBA. And he plays the most popular sport and is basically a human projectile for a living. <laughs> 